We are back playing Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. Uh, we, uh, we are following a shady guy with whiskers. He doesn't drink alcohol. That's, that's alright, but he's shady anyway. He went into this yard here. We're gonna take a look. Let's take a look. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Sneaky little fella. Sherlock Holmes. He better be paying. Paying well. This is a nice house. Wow. A lot of expensive stuff. Called it. Called it. I'm a bit of a street rascal myself. Well. That's it. It's too dangerous to go inside, yeah. I can imagine so. I can imagine so. We can check out the other window, though. That's alright. That should be a problem. Inside. I can't see what's inside. That's alright. That's alright. Doing just fine. There's a lot of windows. I don't know how how do I can I reach? Can I can I get up? What can I do? I can't see what's inside. Can't say what's inside. I can't see what's inside. Can't see what's inside. That's all right. It's going to be the same here, I guess. Oh, I could see that. That's some vision, dude. Do only two people live here? Wow. Well. One was me. <laughs> Bags of food. I like this ass. <laughs> What a nerd, dude. What a nerd. I like it. He seems like a good kid. He seems like an alright kid. Not not great, but alright. I'm thinking though... That seems kinda harmless. Just hanging out with your your buddy in a house or wife or whatever it was you want to go inside now it's too dangerous to enter ah well it might not be dangerous that depends on how you define danger it's highly inappropriate uh, but I don't think well, you might die. If it's real shady business, you might get killed, I guess. It's too, it's too dangerous to enter. Too dangerous to enter. Alright, so are we done? Locked. Yeah, we can't get out. Can we jump back over here? I can't leave yet. I'm not finished here. Are you sure? I I feel like we're finished though. I really do. I really do. There's really nothing else to I can't use the Sherlock Holmes superpower. I can't focus my energy to find clues. He can't see what's inside. I can't in see what's inside. He can't see what's inside. That's alright. There's a ladder. 
that seems um, s seems like it could come in handy, but let's check here again. It's expensive stuff, but that's about it, really. <laughs> Coat of arms. It might help Mr. Holmes. I'll make a drawing of it. All right. There we go. There we go. Time I to found it. To Mr. Holmes. Let's get outside before I get caught. I found it. There was a. There was a. A coat of arms. Uh, the coat of arms in there. It. Um, apparently, I could click on it. I didn't catch that before. Uh, my bad. There we go. He made a drawing of it. Oh, we're uh, we're off again. We're off to see Holmes. Finally. Finally. You can select the loading option traveling by There's a lot of controllers. Riggins' tale was quite unusual. What do you make of what he found, Holmes? Examine the item brought in by Wiggins. There we go. Wiggins, he made a drawing. Wiggins did a good job. Yeah. But we got that information about... Oh, never mind. All right, let's... My analysis table. It's useful for my work. Don't you want to analyze the Wiggins drawing? It's a coat of arms made by Wiggins. Examine the item brought in by Wiggins. Yes, let's do that. Let's let's get into it. I want to do that. It's my dream, man. I want to do that, but I don't know how. Search the archives. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Now, let's see. The drawing of the coat of arms made by Wiggins. Confirm chemistry. All right. Blood test. Not. I think maybe marks and symbols. Royal potato cans. That's not the one I need. No. The coat of arms of the Marsh family. Nowadays, the representative of this family is Lord Edward Marsh, the well-known benefactor. He provides the poor people of Whitechapel with provisions, warm clothes, etc. Lord Marsh is also renowned as a co-funder of the special education program, which allows poor people the opportunity of an education. Lord Marsh resides at 3rd Mainsbury Road. Here it is. There it is. There it is. So this man could be Lord Marsh. Huh. A lord who hangs around in a public house. Let's pay a visit to Lord Marsh. We'll pretend that we're interested in his charitable activities. Sneaky. Mr. Holmes, you have a visitor. Oh, just ask him to wait. I'm afraid that won't be possible. This young lady refuses to wait for anything. What? Father! Oh, Caitlin! <laughs> Miss Caitlin's boarding school was flooded. Everyone was sent home. As if it could smell any mustier. <laughs> My word, how is it possible that you have grown up so fast? You'll be staying. Wherever will we put you? Holmes, I'll give her my room, of course. What do you have to say, Kate? You're on a new case. A respectable lady who's being blackmailed? Or is it a love story between a prince and a suffragist? However did you guess? You will tell me, won't you, Father? But you'll make Watson jealous. All right, then. Have fun. I'll go and unpack. Will you help me, Mrs. Hudson? 
this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's wonderful to have Kate home. Is it though? You lost your room, dude. But yeah, maybe it's worth it. I don't know. Let's go check uh, out the uh, Marsh house. That was probably the house we were at. Uh, Ask the kid. Let's see if we have anything. You got nothing. Let's just go. Let's just go. It's gonna be fine. Practical motherhood and parent craft. Maybe he's a bad parent. She seemed to like him and they seemed alright. He seemed to have a good way with her. But I don't know. Does Sherlock always have a daughter in the uh in the oh, books and stuff? About Caitlin. Yes. She has grown up, hasn't she? Don't you think it's time to to tell her? To tell her what, Watson? Well, about her father. Never. Absolutely never. Do you hear me? Holmes, you were responsible for the death of her father. You owe her the truth. She is old enough now. I would lose her. Can't you see that? She must never know. Watson, is that clear? Holmes. It won't and can't happen. Wow. That was some fast. Let's get inside. Exposition. Yeah, let's let's do that. I think that's better. Uh, come in, please. Hello. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome to my home. How may I help you? Good day to you, Lord Marsh. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Uh, it's time for some deduction. Let's make a good portrait this time. Last time was not great. His eyes are red. Lack of sleep. I think... I actually think we're gonna... We're gonna move on. Maybe we'll find some clues to whether or not Man of wealth, yeah, yeah. Blanket, he is ill, he's hiding something. Well, his eyes are red too, so I'm gonna go with his ill. Ah, oh, look at that, painkillers. Strong painkillers, wow. That's alright in my book. What's going, oh. Can I read it? Meeting. Oh, that's a personal assistant. Yeah. Which also makes me think that his eyes are red because he's ill. Of some sort. Member of the hunting club. He is ill. What was the other? Feels unwell, lack of sleep. With painkillers that strong, you're gonna sleep. He feels unwell. There's still one blurred out. Don't know if I missed. The cup seems. And that's the. There's the guy. Oh wait, that's not the whisker guy. That's a doctor. Oh, I didn't see it at first. Reuben Fisher. He's 25 years old. A physician, a physician. He's in the hunting club. He's financially wealthy. He's not only a physician, he's also Lord Marsh personal assistant. That's cool. Lord Marsh is a wealthy man who holds a high position in society, indicating his expensive clothes and valuable gold ring. 
he has dedicated his life to helping the poor. That's good. He's ill, therefore he's covered with a blanket, despite the fact that it's quite warm in the room. Yes. That is the number one sign that you are ill. It's rather warm, but you put a blanket on your on, on your legs. I, I do it sometimes. I hope we're not disturbing you. You are with your physician? Yes, this is Dr. Reuben Fisher. But no, please, I'm intrigued by your visit, Mr. Holmes. I'm glad to hear it. The last thing I'd wish is to upset the patient. Lord Marsh, can I just say that I admire all of your efforts in assisting the poor of London? Ah, uh, yes. It is a war that we must fight on our streets and now, too, from my home. You must surely have noticed those bags full of items, clothing and books for the unfortunate. That is inspirational. Um, at my own humble level, I too try my best to support those in need. I thought perhaps that I could be of some assistance? I don't see why not. I already have the valuable assistance of Dr. Fisher, who happens to be my personal physician. Forgive me, Lord Let's Marshall. dive into looking it. very pale. Might I offer Dr. Watson's assistance? That is kind of you. But I feel confident that I can provide Lord Marsh with the care that he requires. How long have you been like this, my lord? I'm fine, Dr. Watson. Don't fuss. It's only influenza. I'll be better in a few days. I can feel it already. Hmm. Ah. And what is this supposed to mean? Never mind. All oh, right, 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 right. We're here pretending to be interested in the it's charity. It's curious. Your face seems familiar to me, Doctor. Oddly, I'm associating it with Whitechapel? Well done. You are right. I do occasionally frequent a few hostelries over there, would you believe it? <laughs> Not that I am a drinker. But there, dressed as a working man, I can approach the other fellows to see if they might be interested in a special job. A special job? May I ask what you're referring to? Certainly. Since Lord Marsh began his special education program in 1889, he foresaw that such people would need an occupation of some kind. And so, with or without education, we propose these opportunities to work with Lord Marsh. It offers the less fortunate a chance to help make London a better place. That's remarkable. Yes, indeed. In order to truly see, one requires vision, yes? But also insight, and Lord Marsh has believed this since he was a child. Oh, oh, Dr. Fisher makes it all sound so romantic. Let's close this topic. Oh, he likes his lord. That's for damn sure. Lord Marsh believes that he can help all these... Is there something else that interests you? A provision dealing with the paupers of Whitechapel. I'm just gonna poke around your room for a while. Sit tight, bro. Lord Marsh even helps hospitals. Yeah, it's quite admirable. A quarter main. A quarter main club. To celebrate our horseback riding, exploration, and hunting. Lord Marsh, hunting with his friends. Ah, my dear comrades, Lord Collins and Lord Harrington. If it wasn't for this godforsaken English malady, I'd be with those rapscallions right now. All in due time, my lord. All in due time. And the news Last year, three orphans were put through medical college. It's crazy. Thanks to Lord Marsh and the special education program, a great many poor people will have a second chance in life. Fair enough. That's a couple of letters. Apparently, that's not interesting. Um, oh, wait, wait, I forget, I forget. There's the um, supervision. Oh, some papers. Oh, I didn't even see those. Look at that. Dear Lord Marsh. Here is the list of selected participants for the special education program in October. It looks to be a very promising event. I'm looking forward to it. 
he is not on the list though. This um, this guy we're looking for. Uh, what was it, George? Oh. His name was George. That's all I remember. I don't know what. What do you want? John Strobridge. I've seen this name before. It was on a missing persons poster. That's a lucky shot. Oh yeah, that was the uh, widow. I can't quite work it out. Do you have any ideas to the number of people who might owe you their lives? Oh, don't embarrass me, Mr. Holmes. But indeed, these people have become like a family to me. That would be a fairly large family, I imagine. <laughs> yes, the, the list would be longer than any of your short stories. As for how large, well, Fisher is the one who keeps record. Might we take a glance at the list? I regret that is impossible. It is confidential. I stand firm upon that point, Mr. Holmes. Oh. I quite understand. We'll most certainly send a donation towards your educational program. I shall take my leave then. I thank you both and I wish you all the very best, gentlemen. Likewise, Mr. Holmes. Came into your house, I poked around your papers, and we're leaving. Bags full of food. Yes. Can I go in here? Can I just go ahead and. Mm. Locked. Seem very liberal with, um. Let me check out their house or his house. Hmm. Locked. All right, Watson. Humanitarian aid for an orphanage. Aid for the paupers of Lambeth Workhouse. All right, Watson. I'm intrigued by the special education program. I've never seen so many provisions for the poor, and certainly not. I cut him off. That's how I roll. I think we are gonna go to, um... Yeah, he, ah, that's why uh, we didn't recognize him. He had a disguise. his son Tom uh, it could be that George mentioned something about this to his son Tom yeah I'm thinking either way we should go back to the um, to Whitechapel to the place where uh, open deduction oh wow find a pair of related clues Not really missing. He's missing. No. No. How many chances do I get? Well, <laughs> can I go? I don't want to. Yeah. All right. So we got the. Uh, They refuse to provide additional information. Uh, and that's... <laughs> I'm not even. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so we got the Quartermain Club. That's a special job because they hunt people. Nope. They hunt special education. Maybe we need more... Find a pair of related clues and they will form a deduction. I think we're gonna leave that. I think, I think we need more clues. Actually, yeah. And I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go back to uh, Tom, to the little boy. He was holed up in here. We're gonna check if his dad, the missing person, our target, I guess you could say, 
Uh, check if he's he's got any. If you heard anything about about this stuff, hey dude. Mr. Holmes, do you have any news about my father? Tom, Tom, not so fast. I wanted to ask you if you remember your father mentioning anything about a special education program. An education program? No, he only talked about a special job. What's this box, Tom? Oh yeah, I just found it, Mr. Holmes. It was ever so well hidden. I've no idea why. Well done, my boy. It could prove very helpful. Wow, wow. Let's check out the box. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Nice. Oh, look at that. Wolf Jack. I don't know what Wolf this Wolf Jack. Looks like a military badge. We got this thing. A ramrod to clean a rifle. A key? Let's remember that we have the key. This oil can also be used on weapons. Tom, does your father own a rifle? A rifle? No. If he had, he would have shown it me. I'm sure that he wouldn't have shown it you. I need to find this rifle. A bucket. There's a bucket. There's a bucket, yeah. With a thick liquid in it. Thick liquid, yeah. Oil. a rag and there's stuff there I can't activate it I can't do anything with the uh, with the rag either at least not yet I'm guessing he hid his uh, the rifle in the attic on the loft Can't do anything with the bucket and rag. That's weird. That seems weird to me. Just some old things. Yeah. Oil. A thick liquid. Oil. some papers in there they don't seem important there's a lot of writing on them but they're not important a ramrod search archives oh I gotta go back oh that was my bad that was my bad I um I didn't know this that little search the archives. Icon. I feel like that's very tedious though. We gotta Alright, I got the fast travel uh thing. So I gotta go back to my headquarters. Every time. Do we have anything else? Her special job. Ah, it's still the same. Alright, search archives. Yeah, it says it right there. I, I totally missed it. That's on me. But... It seems like a tedious thing that you have to go back to the main quarters. Or... 
base or to his home, to home's home's home. Every time you gotta check out a little detail. Maybe that's that's the game though. Maybe that's what we've gotten ourselves into, I don't know. This is the life we chose. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. We're gonna search the archives. Military badge. Marks and symbols again. No, badges and medals, yeah. Wolfjack. Yesu Prez. I don't know how to pronounce that. Let's go. A wolfjack is, ha uh, is half wolf and half jackrabbit, obviously. It was used by the Lovat Scouts as a self-descriptive nickname. The Lovat Scouts formally became the British Army's first marksman unit. Here it is. The Lovat Scouts. And I'm going to connect that with uh, the Quartermain Club. I'm going to connect that. I'm just going to try to connect it with everything. Never mind then. Um, <laughs> we'll talk to Watson and see what, see, what he, see what he got. Holmes, we need to help poor Tom. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very much left in the dark, in the dark here. Um, it's useful for my work. I don't know why we would go back, though. Hey, let's do this. Maybe we'll go... Uh, maybe we'll go visit the... Um, There was a there was a uh, another missing person, and he was on this missing person uh, note pamphlet. And there was uh, there was a note that said, um, "If you know about his whereabouts, contact his wife at this and this address. We're gonna go there. We're gonna go to that address. It's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good." If we ever ever arrive, is Sherlock Holmes rich? Is he wealthy? Seems like he is. At least he's he's not a, he's not a poor man. I don't think he's a poor man. But he doesn't seem too interested in getting paid either. Maybe he has um, family money. She resided, uh, if I recall correctly, she resided at number five. I'm gonna see if we can find Dorset Street, number five. I should probably check. There's ten. All right. There's a backyard. We got some. Got some lagging, that's alright. That's number 9, and that's the end of the street. Lovely. Uh, she was not at number 5 then. Maybe she was at number 9. Just leave the post on the doorstep. I'm not the postman. Fucking homes. Alright, we're gonna check. Let's see if we have that. There we go, Mr. Uh, if you have any information, please contact Mrs. Stro Stro Strobridge at 5 Dorset Street. Alright, so it was 5. I'm gonna keep looking for that door. This doesn't make for very good. Uh, this is not very interesting gameplay. I guess. I'm gonna keep looking uh, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.